Tim Crosby here. Glad you're here. Um, today's topic is, uh, it's a question that I get asked frequently. You may have asked people frequently yourself. How do you combine playing the chords of a song and the melody of the song? Uh, usually we get around that by having one person play the chords and another person play the melody, but you can do the, you do them both yourself. And uh, so since I got a new ukulele recently that I'm having fun with, I thought we'd use it as our vehicle to uh, do some chord cording and melodying. Melody making. Um, thought I'd use the only Beatles song that I know uh, yesterday as an example. It falls on the uke pretty nicely. Um, so the melody, and you can. And the chords then being. But here's the thing, all of the melody notes, and in fact in most songs, melodies live inside the chords. So, so there's your first chord, and the melody is just right there. And then your next chord. And then you get off of the chord. And then you get off the track. So you notice one thing, you don't stay with the chord the whole time. You connect up the chords with those bits of melody. And that's, that's the style called chord melody. And that's the concept of it. So here would be how you would tackle it. If you know the chords of the song, if you know the melody of the song, play one and then play the other. And then as you're playing it, particularly play the melody and then play the chords and look for the shapes of the melody and how they're either inside the chord, like that first one, or how you can think, okay, I've got... And then come back to the chord. So melody, 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 chord, chord. Mm -hmm. I do it this way. Chord melody. I'm Tim Crosby.